Hi, my name is Neve Kennelly and today I'm going to talk to you about nipple inversion. So nipple inversion affects between 2 and 3% of the female population and of those women, just under 90% will have bilateral inverted nipples. So how do you check if you have an inverted nipple? Okay, so there's two tests. There's a cold test and then there's the pinch test. The cold test is where you get a cold, damp cloth you place it over your nipple, okay? And um, the pinch test then is the second test, and that is where you get your little nipple. I prefer this test. You pop your finger on either side of the areola near the nipple base, and you pinch, okay? So there are three types of nipple function when the pinch test or the cold test is performed. So the first type is protraction. The second type is retraction, and the third type is inversion. I'll we'll start at the top. Protraction. So when you look at your nipple, it looks like this, okay? When you do your pinch test and your nipple comes out, that's called protraction, and that's perfectly fine. Um, for retraction, the second type, if your nipple looks normal when you look at it okay it just looks just like this just like in protraction but when you do the pinch test the nipple sinks back in to either the level of the areola just like this goes back or it can actually go beneath the level of the areola if this is the case and you're pregnant it is worth considering trying different interventions which i will discuss in the next video um, so the third type is an inversion. An inverted nipple is where you look at the nipple and it doesn't look like this. It actually looks, the nipple top looks like this, where it should look like this, nice and rounded like this nipple here. It actually looks like this, almost puckered inward. So that doesn't necessarily mean that's a bad thing. What you want to do is check if the nipple inversion is simple or if it's complete. So to check this, you do your pinch test. If it's simple, the nipple will move out when you do the pinch test. If it's a complete, the nipple won't. And that means that um, there, is, the, there is adhesion behind the nipple and it's being bound inward. So that's a little bit more difficult. Most people, however, won't have a complete inverted nipple. They will either have a simple inverted nipple or a retracted or a protracted nipple. Okay, so they are the three different nipple function types. Okay, so many first time mums um, will have some form of a retractor nipple inversion during their pregnancy, but often by the end of the pregnancy, they can actually evert and, and you know, become and correct themselves. So that's absolutely fine. Um, it's also worth noting that when a baby latches onto the nipple, they can actually, um, the nipple doubles in length inside the baby's mouth. So baby is a very, very powerful sucker for um, correcting a nipple inversion or retraction. So the best advice is to latch that baby on immediately um, or as soon as possible after birth within an hour would be the best case scenario. For many women, or for some women, that's not always possible um, due to caesarean section, birth difficulties, um, maybe baby needs to be taken for special care, um, and that's still okay. Um, there are things that we can use in pregnancy and postnatally to help correct an inverted nipple or a retracted nipple, and I'll talk about those in the next clip.